Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another Farming Simulator 25 Tips and Tricks video. Today, we're going to talk about dynamic pastures and what it really means. Now, if you're like me, I was thinking one thing, but it turns out it's something a little bit different, but still super awesome. Now, when I was reading the latest issue of the Farming Simulator magazine, I came across this little section. It said, living lawnmowers and dynamic pastures. Why bring food to your grass-feeding animals when you can bring your cows, sheep, etc. to a meadow and have them eat the fresh grass there? You now can. The dynamic pastures feature lets you place fences on any large meadow and grass field you own. This can now be used to feed your animals straight from Mother Nature. Of course, with seasonal play enabled, you need to bring them back to their shed in winter and have enough fodder to bridge time until next spring. Interesting. So looking at this picture here, we see the fence in the background. We see a cow. We see grass. What's a guy to think? So when I was messing around with Farming Simulator 25, well, first thing I did was I found a field of grass and I went to place a fence and I wanted to see what would happen. And lo and behold, nothing. Nothing happened. I have a fence here. Now, in a grass field. We look at the menu, nothing. We have no triggers. There's no way of, of putting animals in here. No pop-up that comes up. Nothing. So I was a little confused as to what was going on. So let me real quick get rid of this fence. And now let's go to our animals and let's put in owls. So we're going to place this, oh, let's say right here. Okay. And as soon as we do that, do you want to customize the fence for your cow pasture? Well, yes, I do. And now I can draw this fence however I want. Up around trees. on this hillside and eventually back do I want to place cow pasture meadow yes I want to put meadow in my cow pasture and now this entire fenced in area is my cow pasture it's still a pretty darn cool feature And if I walk over here, I'm going to be able to put 65 cows in this pasture. Okay. Well, if we go to build mode, we see that this pasture normally is rated for seven. But since we have built our fence out, we now can put, put a lot more cows in this area. And since it is meadow, well, they can eat right off of this grass as opposed to us having to feed them over the summertime. So I think this is a really, really neat feature and it's something that I'm really looking forward to using in Farming Simulator 25. I'd love to know what you all think down in the comments below. Is this how you thought it would work or did you think it was the way I was initially trying it? Because when you read the article, it really does sound like, well, you just put a fence wherever and you can put your cows there and they can eat. But really, it's when placing an animal pen, you'll have the option to customize it. Now, now if we 
Now, if we try to put in a building per se, we might have other customization options as well. And we're gonna go over that when we get to each specific animal. I'd love to know what you all think down in the comments below with respect to dynamic pastures and how is that gonna affect your gameplay going future or going forward. And until next time, happy farming.